A very good morning to you all. Today we'll be discussing the Hindu editorial analysis of uh, the Hindu paper. Today is 15 June 2020. There are four articles. The first article is regarding India and Nepal. The second one is regarding the racist or racism. How you can bring the anti-racism bill. The third article is regarding the COVID-19 transportation safety measures. The fourth article is regarding the GST taxes. Before I begin, I am Prashant. I welcome you all to Education Stuff. But if you are new to my channel, I request you all to subscribe. This is a political scenario of Bihar. Both parties are offering him uh, to join into their parties, but he is refusing. This is the first article. It, it speaks about uh, India Nepal ties. After months of brinkmanship, India and Nepal have brought their uh, re relations to the edge of a precipice. The oldest government decision to pass the constitutional amendment drafting a change in its map that include Lipulek, Kalapani and Nymphiadra territories that India's control marks a decidedly new phase in ties. While the issue is the old one, it refractured uh, in 2019 when Delhi published a new political map to reflect the changes following the decision on August 5th to reorganize state and Jum state of Jammu and Kashmir. I also made another video regarding India and Nepal earlier so you can see it from the eye icon so that you will have a crystal clear idea regarding India and Nepal and sorry India and Nepal border ties. While the issue of an old one it was surfaced on 2019 when New Delhi published a political maps to reflect the changes following edition on August 5th to reorganize the state of Jammu and Kashmir the Nepal objected to the depictions of disputed territory. In 2010 or 2014, India and Nepal agreed to hold talks about Kalapani and Susta uh, without much success. Matters snowballed when India's defense minister inaugurated a surface road over the territory. When the Nepal protested, Indian Army General uh, Narwane suggested it was a behest of China. At the base of the rift is a lack of diplomatic maneuvering to allow a step back from the brink. While the Delhi contends that it was willing to discuss matter at a mutually convenient date, Kathmandu says that Ministry of External Affairs has rejected two dates suggested by the Nepal of Ministry of Foreign Affairs and had routinely dismissed requests from the Nepal Ambassador for, to meet the Foreign Secretary. That the Ministry of External Affairs said the Kalapani talks would wait until the both countries have had dealt with the coronavirus pandemic first, further in a Enbranch, the Olis government, which had pointed out India's participation by video conference in bilateral and multilateral meetings. Meanwhile, Mr. Olis purposefully manner in pursuing the amendment at exactly the same time as India-China border standoffs bolsters the belief among the, some of the New Delhi that he is speaking with confidence born from Beijing's backing. Regardless of the truth of these accusations, or who is more responsible for the downside, in the ties, the speed with which the constitutional amendment was passed had left little space for diplomacy now. The vote was unanimous uh, that should be also inform New Delhi of fidelity of castling Mr. Oli alone as a, a villain of the peace. It is necessary that the two nations resolve their issue, their dialogue, unless they face more serious consequences. The government has in the past not flinched from taking tough measures including the 2015 blockade that severely affected India's landlocked neighbor, the only government which seeks to build its legacy by outturning or overturning what it calls unequal agreements made by the monarchy could also cause a security nightmare for India if it re opens up other parts of the long boundary. Regarding the India and Nepal. A Nepal ties which is no longer a special India and Nepal need to move, quick, move quickly to reverse uh, the recent setbacks of the ties. This is the second article the need for anti-discrimination law. India uh, is unique among demo democracies or the democracies in that the constitutional right to equality is not backed by comprehensive legislation. A sport is often a micro much as we might sometimes 
uh, see it as a leveler it invariably tends to underscore more endemic inequalities recent revelations made by the former west indies cricket captain darren sami uh, thereafter must awaken us to a problem that goes far behind the cricket field uh, and its narrow confines a society that is replete with racism in our country the problem the problem only exacerbated by other historically ingrained forms of discrimination along the lines of caste class gender and religion among other things indeed in reacting mr sami's statement the former indian cricket cricketer irfan patan pointed not only to how players from south of india routinely faced abuse from the crowds in the north sometimes now with the tamil nadu an indian opener abhinav mukund to attested but also to another form of a prejudice even more entrenched in the society mr patan on in a tweet that racism in our country goes beyond the color of our skins that enforcing embargoes on the people seeking to buy houses based on the faith or to equally be seen as a feature of prejudice a uh, predictable mr patan faced a violent or a volley of abuses for his tweet but if anything of these responses only reinforce his argument here was a cricketer who was represented india on the world stage with the same distinction being asked to prove his loyalty all over again simply on the account of his faith so vitriolically uh, were some of the responses that mr patan was eventually forced into clarifying that his opinions are always as an indian or for india he did not need to do this not least because his judgment has captured the kernel of the debate that more than 70 years after the independence our society remains rife with structural discrimination this prejudice of uh, covid every aspect of life from access to basic goods to education employment are some manifest but on the other occasion the discrimination is indeed even unintended unintended the latter however is just a perennial the forms of forms that it takes were perhaps best explained by US Supreme Court ruling in the case of Briggs versus Duke's power uh, there is a court uh, that held an emergency or energy company that had fallen all of US civil rights in 1964 which made racial discrimination in private workplaces illegal by insisting a superfluous uh, written by the applicants for its better entry level jobs although on the face of it this requirement was race neutral in practice it allowed the company to victimize african americans in a memorable judgment invoking the aso fable the chief justice burger wrote that the test or criteria for the employment or promotion may not provide equality or opportunity merely in the sense of table offer of milk to the stock or to the fox on the contrary to the law he said restoring again of the fable provided the vessel in which the milk is proffered to be one all seekers can use that is that that was merely or merely over discriminant that was illegal but also practices that are fair in the form but discriminatory in operation states and private contractors or direct and indirect forms of discrimination mitigate Uh, against uh, india's constitutional vision of equality the verdict of verdict in greeks was not notably applied by justice s ravindra bhat in delhi's high court in 2018 judgment in madhu versus northern railway there is always a uh, railways had denied free medical treatment to a wife and daughter on employ uh, which they would have otherwise have seen entitled to under the rules The railway contended that the employee had disowned his family and had their names struck off his medical card. But the court that held to take, make essential benefits such as medical services such as subject to a declaration by the employee to facially neutral. But while the case concerned discrimination about the state, entry barriers to the goods such as housing, schools and employment tend to function in the realm of private contracts. The constitution though is marked vocally to article 15 of subclause 2 stipulates that the citizen shall not on the grounds only of religion race caste sex or place of birth be denied access to the shops public restaurants hotels and places of public entertainment yet on the occasion this right 
uh, which applies horizontally uh, inter C individuals comes into the conflict with the rights of persons to associate with the others often to exclusion of certain groups now this is why every time a case of discrimination is brought the party that discriminates claims uh, that he possesses a liberty to do so the supreme court in 2005 in different cases endorsed one such respective bond uh, when it ruled in favor of by law of parsi housing society that prohibited a sale of property on parsi at the first blush of article 15 might appear to be somewhat limited in the scope but the word shops are used in it meant to be read widely a study in the case of constitution assembly's debate on a clauses framing shows that the founders explicitly intended to place of restrictions on any economic activity or sought to exclude special group for example when a person refuses to lease his property uh, to another based on the customer's faith such as refusal would run directly counter to guarantee of the equality an overruling of this verdict however to serve as a panica india is unique among the democracies in that constitutional right to equality is not supported by comprehensive legislation the attempt to change in india there has been a few efforts uh, to end this in the recent times shashi tharur introduced a private membership bill drafted by uh, tharun khaitian in 2017 while the center for law and policy research drafted and released an equality bill last year these attempts recognize that our civil liberties are just as capable of being threatened by the acts of private individuals as they are by the state untimely our rule is law our rule of law must subsume an understanding that discrimination partakes different uh, forms any reasonable conception of justice would demand uh, that would look beyond our intentions of actions and in, in, ingrain the structures of society this does not mean that we we'll need to live under a illusion that the statue will resolve the systematic biases that will somehow magically transform ourselves or uh, ourselves into our kind of nation that we are met ka and we signed but now more than ever as we look to the reset of social arrangements in the wake of covid-19 a rededication to our original constitution commitment would be worthwhile uh, to that end the idea of enacting a law that will help uh, our ways of life that will help reserve our deep rooted culture of discrimination is worth thinking this particular article is regarding the need for anti discrimination law as india is unique among the democracies in the constitutional right of equality which is not backed up the next article is regarding the covid-19 public transport fearing crowd infection commuters prefer traveling in private mode Uh, like two wheelers cities like delhi resumed services nearly 4 weeks ago observed less ridership than 20% uh, per bus or uh, 20 passengers per bus despite the limited frequencies on many routes all the bus crowding is seen in some cities like mumbai it is temporarily due to the lack of alternatives a significant drop in the public transport a uh, modes of transport to avoid significant modal shift to road traffic The Delhi Metro Corporation has released a guidelines to tackle several social distancing and sanitation concerns and to address the possibility of viral transmission through tokens, push buttons and lifts, handrails and at the station elevators. Other metro rail systems are also expected to follow the similar guidelines. Are these measures enough to prevent a serious viral transmission is a big question. Unfortunately, public transit agencies around the world face the problem of breadth of research of scientists on specific modality of COVID-19 transmission during the public transport commute. Confidentiality laws enable usually prevent the availability of contract contact tracing data to extract the precise details of how any individual got infected. There has been some notable research efforts currently under the peer uh, review that due to detailed contact tracing data from china and korea one study says that sars cov2 does not seem to get transmitted much outdoors in fact only a single cluster of two cases out of nearly 1000 was traced to an outdoor infection in china 
Correlation to the effect of air condition airflow has also been established based on the precise seating locations of those infected at the restaurant and at a call center. Indian authorities who were already working under similar assumptions on the efforts of ACES or will prevent justified by the conclusion such as researchers that there is a clear high risk in the indoor areas under AC with a focused airflow. From the above research, we can conclude that non-AC buses with open windows offer much less risky outdoor-like environment. However, it would uh, like to be wrong to conclude that AC metro rail coach is risky for a different reason in that contact time is also very important as a viral transmission indoor spaces. The majority of metro rail trips in Indian cities are not more than 20 minutes long and there is research indicating that it may not be long enough for a significant viral densities and inhalation of sufficient viral particles uh, even with social, without social distancing. It is unlikely for a significant level of public transport infections to happen via inhalation or even crowding or cloth body contact although we cannot say it is certainly. However, hand contact with the common surfaces must be considered as it, well, as it is well known uh, to cause significant COVID-19 spread. The guidelines of being developed of India address some of these related issues. However, these leave out a certain key elements that they should be taken seriously. The hand grip rings and handrails uh, from the ceilings of the of the poles and any grab rails on the seat backs. If an infected person, that is asymptotic person, deposits a viral particles on such surfaces and another person grabs the same spot even briefly, the viral particles could be picked up by the hand. The second person uh, could later deposit the practice on her, her face. Probabilities may help. Another person may not hold the exact 3 inch long area before the virus dissipates. The surface is potentially the most dangerous inside the coach. Every successive individual who uh, hangs on the hand grip where one infected person deposited the virus can pick up, pick up the virus at the high density at the same spot. Then the probability is very quite high within an hour, two or three other persons could pick up the virus left by the one person on the hand grip. There are suggestions for the more safety. Considering such possibilities, we offer a few safety suggestions that can be implemented immediately. The first is to employ staff uh, to wipe the hand grips at a frequent intervals, constantly moving from end to end in the trains. Any hand grip in the buses also need to be cleaned often. Another is to give wet sanitizing wipes for every traveler entering a metro rail uh, with a suggestion to have in the, in the palms even before touching or gripping anything. The metro rail agencies focuses many, many shift uh, to engrossing passengers as an important to prevent them from transferring what is on their hands to their faces after egress. We should also expect a lot of passengers to leave in a hurry and to not to bother with the clearing hands. Paid staff or volunteers dispensing the hand sanitizers on the platform can be an option. Offer contactless wash basin with the soap dispensers at the platform would also be effective. Signs on hand hygiene, for example, touching surfaces are needed. There is also a possible option in the metro rails uh, to create an external airflow to dissipate viral particles. Metro rail authorities are planning to leave doors open at terminals before the next run of each train. Uh, since a uh, majority of metro rail stretches in India are elevated, there is a creative option if safety considerations will allow them, one would have to be staff on board to direct passengers away from the certain coaches to other coaches. But the doors of the empty coach can be opened during a run of 2 or 3 minutes. Actions uh, are to be needed for both authorities and the public to keep our public transport system safe. If no such actions are taken and a serious level of viral transmission is later traced by public transit, the result will be a more shift to private vehicles. As for Pollution and accidents kill more than people, more people in India than COVID-19 does. A mode shift away from this public transport will no longer terms consequences. Our buses and trains must be 
a pursuit as a safe so it is vital to assure ourselves that the public transport is for the public not for the virus this is regarding the public uh, transport system how safety measures to be taken into action for covid-19 so that everyone will be safe the next article is regarding the gst the curve behind the gst compensation of the, on the states meeting for the second time uh, since the pandemic took hold in the country the gst council last friday decided uh, that to relate late fees and interest payable for those taxpayers failing uh, to file returns on the time for businesses with no tax liabilities under the indirect tax regime the late fees were completely waived this is the line in which similar relaxations announced by the center in march before the lockdown was declared to ease compliance deadline worries of small businesses in particular since the full lockdown lasted longer than initially envisaged and only began to unwind this month the forbearance on offer was a necessary step but given an extent or extent of the economic damage as well as state's fiscal position Uh, in the period between these two meetings of the council it is a decision as far as sufficient in march gst collections has slipped 95000 crores or after surpassing 1 lakh crore mark over the previous four months finance minister nirmal sitaraman has told state to representatives in council that 45% of indirect tax target ha- had been met in the past two months although aware of the billing tax kitty during the lockdown states have their have had their hands full of managing the pandemic it is for the reason that several states have been urging the center to extend emergency fiscal support and release a past gnc compensation due to enshrined impact of that allowed new tax regime to take off the 3 years ago it is a stimulus package in may that center enhanced states power to borrow but only a part of that was completely unconditional and a large chunk was contingent on the states undertaking specified reforms these reforms may be a uh, long pursued ideals but whether this is the right time of prioritizing them uh, have been questioned gst compensation for revenue shortfalls in the first 5 years of gst due to states of december 2019 to february 2020 was only released on june 4th perhaps it was the time of re-exempt discontent in the council meeting yet the center state ties could turn more fractious especially in the gst council where things have usually evolved with consensus so far thanks to the failure to finalize the one way of forward for paying the states and compensation one of the ideas of the table officially discussed around the two months is to raise loans against the future gst ses accruals in order to recompense states In addition on this front along with the proposed GST rate uh, rationalizing in the textiles footwear and fertilizer sectors that were the council agenda can only expected at a special meet in July procrastination is not an appropriate response at this arc of the curve but be it a pandemic or the economy the regarding the the behind center must help states tide over the pandemic crisis by giving gst dues uh i request you all to follow me on facebook this is a facebook page and uh, i'll give it in description so that you can follow me uh, that's the end of article discussion if you are new to my channel i request you all to subscribe so that you can receive the further updates thanks for joining me have a great day